And welcome back, Haskey here with another guy for Banjo-Kazooie. Today we're going to be starting a new series, this time on empty honeycomb pieces. We just finished up our music note guide, feeling pretty good about that. Thank you for watching if you're joining us from one of those videos. In any case, this is Spyro Mountain. This, of course, kind of serves as the tutorial area of Banjo-Kazooie, if you will. Um, this level is the odd level in that it has more than two empty honeycomb pieces. Every other level in the game has just two of them. Uh, Spiral Mountain, however, has six, which is pretty nice. We'll be able to start our new save file with an extra hit point. After that, however, we'll have to visit multiple levels and collect all of the empty honeycomb pieces before extending our health any further. Now, maybe other than this one here, which can be kind of hidden in plain sight just because your camera doesn't normally look up there. Most of the uh, empty honeycomb pieces in Spiral Mountain are quite easy to find. They're kind of out in the open. There are no switches or, or timers that we have to deal with. Uh, they're just sort of in spots where you would uh, be able to find them kind of on your own just by experimenting with the new abilities that you got just by starting the game. This next one I suppose I could see being passed up by some people. Just being uh, kind of tucked away underwater here, underneath the bridge. Then again, I'm, I'm sure everyone already knows there's always secrets underneath bridges and behind waterfalls. So maybe not. Just two left now. One is going to be stashed away in one of these very angry looking rocks. You use the beak barrage on this, on these guys. Doesn't matter which order you kill them in. The fourth one is always going to drop, in our case, our fifth empty honeycomb piece. And wrapping around over here now, our sixth and final empty honeycomb piece on Spiral Mountain will be inside this floating cauliflower guy. Delicious. And there we go. Definitely going to be the easiest extra hit point we'll be getting in our series, I think. The rest of the empty honeycomb pieces are going to be hidden away quite a bit better and a little bit more complicated to pick up. I do believe uh, these videos will be significantly shorter than my uh, music note guide, but I, I think I'm gonna keep them separate, just like I did in the music note guide, just so they're easy to search for. So if you're struggling with any other empty honeycomb pieces on any of the other levels, make sure to give my channel a search and we'll get you some tips and tricks on how to get those. In any case, that's gonna be it for me on this level. Next up is gonna be Mumbo's Mountain. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.